etching out some of the international coffees like uh, what is cappuccino, what is espresso, what is mocha, what is latte. Let's check out the differences of the two types of coffees. Let's check types of coffees like espresso, ristretto, lungo, doppio, americano, cappuccino, latte, mocha, macchiato, affogato, Irish coffee, cold coffee, instant coffee, decaffeinated coffee, nitro brew, coffee luwak and Turkish coffee. Espresso. It's a strong black coffee which is made by forcefully infused steam through a grounded coffee beans by an espresso machine. It is a, a base for many coffees and it is the purest form of coffee. It does not contain any milk and it is mi uh, commonly mispronounced as espresso, but it should be pronounced as espresso. For easy understanding, I have mixed coffees with human relations to make you understand easily. Let's check. As I said, espresso is the base for many coffees. I want to introduce to the Nespresso family. Espresso has a little brother named Ristrato and two big brothers named Lungo and Doppio. Remember these names, okay? And a girlfriend, Americano. Yeah, what is meant by Ristrato? Ristrato in Italian means limited means it's made from the same amount of uh, ground coffee as espresso but with reduced brew time means it's 15 to 20 seconds approximately instead of 25 to 30 actually espresso is made in 20 to 25 to 30 seconds but this restrato is been brewed only for 15 to 20 seconds so it is thick and concentrated next lungo means long in uh, Italian it's by allowing to continue extraction more than the 30 seconds approximately lungos or 60 ml they have a thinner body next doppio means double in Italian means double shot of espresso and next is Americano it's simple just hot water added to a shot of espresso espresso plus hot water is Americano Next is espresso has other milk friends means espresso plus milk based these are milk based drinks like first one comes cappuccino it is popular coffee in the world which consists of three layers espresso steamed milk and froth milk it's like one third of espresso one third of steamed milk one third of frothed milk the it is uh, foamy and milky Next one is latte, or cafe latte. It is steamed milk plus espresso. It's more milky than cappuccino. It's like uh, one third of espresso and two thirds of milk. It's more milky than espresso. Next is macchiato. It is espresso plus foamed milk. It doesn't have much milk in this. It is uh, an Italian origin and it is a little bit stronger than cappuccino and latte. It's mocha. It is just simple espresso, chocolate sauce, steamed milk and froth milk. You have, uh, sometimes it's also been uh, uh, topped with whipped cream also. It is a little chocolatey and a flavor. If you would like to have a flavored coffee, you can try for mocha. Next, affogato. It is uh, it's more of a dessert than a coffee. It is simply ice cream topped with a shot of espresso. Next, Irish coffee. It is simply espresso plus uh, Irish whiskey and sugar and topped, up, uh, topped with whipped cream. It is an alcoholic beverage. Next, cold coffee. It's a mix of milk, coffee, sugar and ice. Blend it and so with uh, topped up with uh, ice cream. 
Next, instant coffee. It is also called as soluble coffee. Coffee is freezed and dried to make a powder. Example, uh, what we get in brew coffee, brew instant coffee is an example of instant coffee. Next is nitro brew or a nitro coffee. It's a cold brew put into a keg and then infused with a nitrogen gas. It's like a beer, coffee, it's like a beer where a uh, draught beer, it's uh, frothy and bubbly. It's decaf, means decaffeinated coffee, means coffee without caffeine. Coffee Luwak, it's the most expensive coffee in the world. It is priced because uncommon method of producing coffee beans. This, uh, coffee beans are being produced by uh, which are eaten by an Indonesian cat called civet and these coffee beans are produced by a civet poop it's also called as poop coffee Turkish coffee it is prepared from boiling finely grounded coffee beans with sugar and water in a special pot known as sezvi next is how to order a coffee in a coffee shop the person who makes coffee is known as barista when you go to a coffee shop, the barista may ask you like, what would you like to have or what can I get you sir? When you go to a coffee shop, there are some points to be remembered while ordering a coffee. If you take international uh, coffee shops like Starbucks, there is a series of boxes that you can order as per the guest choice. Let's check out what are the boxes and what are uh, it features. It includes like temperature whether you want the coffee hot or cold. Next is size. If you take in a normal coffee shop, the restaurant uh, you'll have small, medium and large. But in Starbucks you have the small is called as tall, which is around 12 ounces. And the medium is known as grande, which is approximately 16 ounces. And the bigger one is called venti, means 20 in Italian. So it's 20 ounces. Next, decaf. Decaf means decaffeinated coffee without caffeine next is shots shots can be like uh, you want uh, a single shot of espresso or double shot of espresso and next is syrup what type of syrup you want for the toppings like uh, you'll have uh, hazelnut caramel and vanilla flavors next is milk type of milk you want or you prefer like full fat milk skimmed milk or skinny milk or no fat milk or soya milk next is custom means you would like to have foam or without foam or you want a whipped cream or so on next is drink what kind of drink you want you want cappuccino espresso ristretto latte macchiato and so on type of drink you want 